All right, I'm going to go into creating a compound clip, which allows you to edit a clip in its own timeline. Okay, most videos are going to go into a long explanation about why you would want to do compound clips. I'm actually going to start with how to do it. And then if you want some additional explanation on why or when you would want to do it, keep watching and I'll show you that kind of stuff. But basically a compound clip allows you to edit that clip in its own timeline. So I've got this timeline that I'm working with and I've got these three video clips layered. Now I don't want to keep layering too much more. So I'm going to turn this bottom one into its own compound clip. So I right click on it. I go new compound clip and I'm just going to name it. I'm just going to leave it at the default, but you can name it whatever you want. Hit create. And then you see now I've got compound clip up here in the upper left. You do need to make sure that in your timeline viewer, you've got the first option selected of time, stack timelines in order to do this next step. With that compound clip selected, you right click and you go open in timeline. Now that separate compound clip is in the timeline and now I can do other things to it. So for example, if I want to throw a, hey, subscribe to our channel on YouTube pop up, I can do that. And let's move that down just a bit. So now when I go back to the other video, this pop up will display. So let's see around 127. And there it is. So that's it. That's how you do it. Now, reasons why. Well, if you notice, what I did here is by having that compound clip set up, I didn't have to necessarily take that subscribe and put and create another video layer on top of a bunch more video layers. So what can happen, let's say with this review, notice we've got layers upon layers upon layers. So I've got five video layers. Depending on what you're doing, if you're working with like a film, you might have way more layers. Another thing you can do with compound clips is I'm going to switch over to this one. So I've got this compound clip here. And the nice thing about it is I can then do different adjustments to different layers. So notice this top layer, I've changed the composite mode. So that way it displays differently with the ones underneath it. So when I go back to here, instead of having these three layers, I've just got one, saving me a lot of space in the master, as well as those composite adjustments are being applied there rather than me having to do them here as well. So that's another reason why you'd want to do that. There are others actually as well, but at this point, you're probably not even watching the video anymore because you got what you wanted out of it, which was the how to create a compound clip part. But if you are still watching, thanks, I appreciate it.